Every single podcast you mentioned, I don't listen to. I don't listen. I don't, in fact, <laughs> I don't listen to podcasts. You know why I don't listen to podcasts? Because I listen to audiobooks. The reason being is that audiobooks are highly directed. I know the top, I know what the book is about, I know what I'm gonna get. A podcast is just some rambling idiots. I never understood Joe Rogan. I don't get why people listen to Joe Rogan. It's just rambling back and forth between two dudes, even though he has on smart guests sometimes. But I'd much rather buy the guest's book than listen to Joe talk to him. Good old Joe. Why do I wanna hear Joe talk to you? If I wanna know what that guy thinks, I wanna talk to him. I don't even like Joe's questions. I may have watched one or two clips. I don't think I've ever watched a single Joe Rogan video or, or podcast because that's not what I would ask. But if I want that guy's information, it's like, oh, I seen a clip. Like what happened with Sean Baker? He had Sean Baker on one day. This is a guy that like I first heard about uh, Carnivore. I was like, oh, snap, that sounds pretty cool. You think I listened to the whole podcast? No. I don't hear Joe talk about wacky, weird stuff with this guy. All of a sudden, they're talking about psychedelics. No, I went and bought his book, Joe uh, Saladino, Paul Saladino. So I don't listen to podcasts. And I know that sounds crazy because I'm a guy, I, I'm kind of a podcaster, as you could say, but like I'm a dude that just spits his opinion. I'm just ranting, I'm just talking. Sometimes I'm surprised y'all like to listen to me. I'm surprised people listen to me because <laughs> I wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> I don't listen to nobody unless they got something I want and I want, the, I want that nugget. What's that nugget? If you listen to me long enough, there'll be nuggets spread out. But I don't want to go looking for the nuggets. I want the book that's full of the nuggets. That's why doing courses, I was talking about it before. If, you, if, you're, if you're in the business that I'm in, you create courses because what is the course? It's chock full of nuggets. It's all the nuggets. A lot of you guys have watched my like um, King Initiation product. That course, the King Initiation, a lot of guys are like, wow, Elliot, this is the best stuff you, I've ever heard you say. Well, it's because I was very directed because I, I digested, assimilated, and, and produced that stuff in a particular way. I was like, and, and, it, and I still didn't nail it. It still could be better. But I try to make it chock full of nuggets. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, you got to be, you got to decide, just, you got to treat information like you treat food. You gotta be discerning about what you put in your body, right? You wouldn't just put any old junk food in your body. Don't put any old junk food in your mind. You wouldn't overconsume food. Don't overconsume information. And you wouldn't consume so much food that you couldn't digest it, assimilate it, and utilize it for something good. Don't take in information that you're not going to digest, assimilate, and do for do something good. That is the obesity of the mind, information consumption. Stop it. Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.